Okay, so now that we have looked at um, the derivative as a function, we need to understand when the derivative exists and when it does not exist. So the first piece of this is the function has to be continuous in order to be differentiable. So if you know f of um, f is differentiable, then f must be continuous, okay? Because if you have a discontinuity, then you can't take the derivative. So for example, when the limit doesn't exist, because you have maybe like a jump, okay? Um, at that x value, let's say a, f prime of a does not exist. So if you know a function is differentiable, it had to come from a continuous function. If the function is not continuous at a point, the derivative won't exist there. However, just because a function is continuous doesn't mean it's differentiable. So if we look at the graph of, actually, I think I have it down here. Yes, I do. If we look at the graph of the square, or of the absolute value function, excuse me. The derivative on this side is one because the slope of that line is one. The derivative on this side, or excuse me, on the left side, it's negative one. The derivative on the right side is one because the slope of that line is one. And this instantaneous rate of change right here is not a like fluid curve. It changes too drastically. And so we say f prime of zero does not exist. So just because f is continuous doesn't mean f is differentiable. You have to check a couple things here. Um, another example is the cube root function. So on the cube root function, you end up having a vertical tangent line here where the slope is undefined. Well, if the slope is undefined, f prime, again, here it's just at zero because of where it is, but f prime of zero does not exist. So again, the function can be continuous, but not differentiable. However, if the function is differentiable, then you know it had to be from a continuous function. Like that's the like block is like, is f continuous is the first kind of question. If so, like, okay, that's check mark number one. Are there any sharp turns like the absolute value? If so, I'm out. Okay, at that one x value, it's fine everywhere but zero. But like on that one, we just did at zero, out, okay? Are there any vertical tangents? Okay, if so, I'm out. The last check has to do kind of with an oscillating piece here. Um, if you have something that oscillates, it's really hard to know what the tangent line is doing. So even though we have like tangent lines we can find, there isn't an exact stopping point. So they just keep like going back and forth, if you will, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So there isn't an exact one. So anytime we have kind of that weird oscillating function, we're not going to be able to figure out what the tangent lines are, are doing there. Now, because it oscillates and kind of goes down to zero, that's one thing, um, but it is also true that we might have an oscillating function like just normal sine of x. Well, then I, I don't have this like sharp turn back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, like in the middle that I don't know. Here, it's like nice and smooth the whole time. So I, I'm able to find um, the slopes of a sine curve is fine. It's when it like wiggles. Okay, and you're like, I don't really know what's going on here. Um, that's when we're going to cause some issues.